Hey everyone. So today we have the RDNet 3.0.6 uh, and we are going to just add a couple of boxes offline and just see what are the parameters inside. One thing very good about the latest update of the RDNet is you no longer have to go and change your IP address. Just keep your laptop on Optane IP and it will directly locate your RDNet controller once you are hooked up with the Ethernet cable. With the USB you know it's flawless without any problem. Let's add some boxes. For example, we are using the HDL50 over here. So this is controller one. We have to select if the Ethernet cable is going from bottom to the top or from top to the bottom because this will decide the number of your cabinet. Line one, add, let's add eight more boxes in the line two. Let's add some subwoofer in line three. And we quickly arrange the subwoofers. So once you just overlap on each other, they just snap to the grid. So this is one more good improvement of the RDNet. Before you literally had to struggle putting them close by to each other. So now we have the right array and we have the left array. Let's quickly put the presets. So the topmost box are meant to throw the farthest. Let's make it far. Uh, medium. And the last two boxes are at close. So this is the air. Uh, absorption compensation so this is how you boost your hf to throw much farther or you can control the hf depending on your reading and what you need on the venue this is the cluster size or array morphing or the low frequency contour so which with this you can control so this is a constant thing for all the cabinets so this cannot be like this have some other setting this have so you have to keep it all together so let's we have like eight boxes so we can keep it at seven to nine but again if you feel like you're getting too much of lows from the line array you can definitely put it much at 10 to 12 or even more depending on what you want let's quickly put the preset of the subwoofers the subwoofers are at running at 20 to 60 you also have the option to put it much above that but yes, somehow I feel like running a subwoofer from 20 to 60, it really gives you that smooth transition of the bass flowing all over the venue. And once we are done with this, we can now as make them into groups. Let's assign to array group zone 1. Let's make them zone 2, zone 3. So one thing that I want to specify here is like you have to know what these things denote just looking at the cluster. So here you can see HF9, this is denoting the HF preset we have put here, then the LF preset. This green bar also shows how much the HF is boosted over here. So eventually it gets down as you can see. The two drivers, LF drivers, the mid drivers and the HF. As soon as, and then you can see we have divided into multiple zones. So this represents zone one, the green. Here it's blue in the second. So that's zone two. This is the third. Then this is the fourth zone. Now this red, because we are offline. Once we are online, it will be all green over there. And then we can go to the groups view and we will get a pop-up window now this is for the so here the fir filters are independent of individual zone so you can control it according to whatever you for example zone one we want the hf to be boosted a bit more in the venue maybe we felt it like that zone two also just just a little Zone 3 maybe is flat and zone 4 because that's the lowermost boxes will be close to the audience. Let's skip the HF a bit down. 
so that it's much more smoother for all the people to listen then there is a gain control of individual boxes also you get the gain control and the delay control and also in the groups also you get it you have a very beautiful feature over here that's the phase plot as soon as you engage any of the parametric eq you can see the necessary change that's going on in the phase how it's altering the phase and then we have this overall control over here which we already saw in the individual boxes or when we, the, we hit the property and we can have that control over so as soon as we have done anything offline you can see there are some exclamation mark over here this represents that this changes have been done only on your laptop but not on the cabinet since we are offline when you're online and you see this exclamation sign you just have to select all the boxes and hit synchronize and it will send all your parameters that's in your laptop to the boxes and you're good to run your show and rest of the thing once you're set with everything like this rest of the thing is just calibrating the system and getting the best out of it already it's dl50 some of the cabinet is dl30 the ttls these cabinets are like you are super okay with just as adjusting these parameters and you're like sorted for the show so next video we'll be covering some more topics some more uh, graphical representation of these things how to read parameters and all this stuff and also we'll be doing some more practical soon bye bye thank you